Hey guys, thanks for joining in. Today I'm finally going to build a diorama for this fine molds type 3 that I have finished around 2 years ago. If you missed that video I suggest go and watch it after this one. For the base I'm going to use a block of XPS foam you can easily get on eBay, Amazon or hardware stores. And I'm using a cheap hot wire cutter to basic shape the landscape first. When finished, your diorama will look so much better with a frame rather than just XPS foam exposed. I am making a frame from balsa wood. Next, I'm fixing the frame to base using a Yuhu glue. And to hold it in place, it's handy to use a sewing pins. For the ground texture I'm going to make a paste using Modeler's World Super Fine Sand, Brown Earth Pigment, PVA Glue, Water, and dried soil from my garden. When the ground texture is still quite wet, I'm going to add some pigments to it. You can use a spoon or sieve, but I'm trying not to make too much mess this time around my diorama. At this point of building this diorama, I realize it's a little bit too small for everything I wanted to fit in, so I quickly made another one. I'm going to use balsa wood and PVA glue again to build a small pier. Now, here I apply Mod Podge glue to fix one of my favorite products for diorama builds, which is Geek Gaming's Base Ready. Basically, these products are blends of sand, gravel, foams, static grass and other stuff to replicate various surfaces. Time to apply static grass. 
I use static grass applicator and summer grass blend from World War Scenics. To fix it to the surface I again use matte mod podge, but normal PVA glue would be good enough. The reason I like Mod Podge so much is that it's thicker and much stronger than normal PVA glue. That's why it's good for fixing stones and other scattered products. And it's clear when it's dry so there is no uh, visible marks all over the place. Now let's add some vegetation. First I'm going to add some water plants. These are just some plastic plants you can easily get on eBay. Next I'm going to add some scrubs. These are also just basic scale modeling products for diorama builds you can get in uh, scale model shops or eBay, Amazon and self-adhesive uh, grass turfs. But I'm still gonna add some glue to them just to make sure it will be firmly attached to my diorama. As you can see I have many plastic plants here. Maybe these are not perfect for scale modeling as they are, but we can slightly modify them.
Let's build a Tori Gate now, a very symbolic structure that can be found at most of the Japanese shrines. For building a very simple one, we are just going to need a wooden craft stick. I painted the frame black using acrylic paint, but prior to painting the frame I had to fill holes from the pins using Vallejo acrylic putty. Before I glue the acrylic glass here, I have to secure my frame with Tamiya masking tape. This way I will prevent uh, damaging the frame when removing the plexiglass later on. I hope. To make a clear water I'm using Epideco Procast Max Clear Resin. Like with every resin, it's crucial to mix the right amount of resin and hardener. And to get this right I use Kitchen Scale. Now to dye the resin I suggest starting with a really small amount of paint or ink and see what will happen and then add more if needed. Time to make a tree, starting with crafting wires and by twisting them we should be able to make a basic shape pretty quickly. The next step will be to stick dust clay around the wires. Dust clay is pretty cheap and you can get it in almost every crafting shop in UK, eBay or Amazon. You can smooth the surface out by moisturing your fingers in a tap water. At this point you can use also some tools to give your tree a desired texture. But I'm just gonna use Vallejo Thick Mud Acrylic Texture product and paint my tree later. I'm going to add some more branches using sea foam. This whole pack cost me around 20 pounds, but you can make a lot of trees from that, so I think it's a good value.
Another really cool product from Geek Gaming is that tree foliage combined with sea foam branches you can make a really nice and realistically looking trees. In case you're living in a cave and don't know what Geek Gaming Cynic is, I will leave a link to Luke's shop in the description below that video. To make a blooming cherry blossom tree we need to change the color from green to pink. Don't worry if you overspray on the tree branches, you can fix that later by painting the branches again and in hard to reach spots you can use a brush. After a day or two it's time to remove the plexiglass. I think I used a little bit too much super glue as I almost cut myself when that piece broke off. This time I'm going to use Glossy Mod Podge and create our wrinkles on the water surface. It's important to use Glossy Mod Podge as it's crystal clear, while Mad Mod Podge will ruin your work at this point. And this is how it looks after a few hours. I didn't think much about how I'm gonna attach my tree to the diorama before, so I'm just gonna use plenty of super glue and blend the tree with the surface using the same pigments and scatter I used previously. With the Tory gate I drilled the small holes and stuck the toothpicks in, this way it should be fixed more firmly to diorama base. And it's almost finished. Time to add a tank and a few tank crew figures by Mini Art. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching and for those who did not subscribe yet and returned, I hope today is the day that I earned your subscription to my channel. I would also like to thank my Patreons, your help means a lot to me and I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon.